you, I just had a baby. Thank you. So I am not just glad to be out of the house, I'm glad to have a shirt on. This is a very special occasion. Actually, you know what, I, 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 this is actually my second baby in two years. I know, I know. So I think that means do not get me wet or feed me after midnight. Uh, but my friends are like, why would you do that? Why would you have kids back to back like that? I'm like, look, I don't know if you realize this, but I'm like 84, okay? And if I didn't make it happen quickly, there was a very good chance my kids could come out looking like a Picasso painting. I love that you laughed at that. Thank you so much, oh my God. Seriously, because if anybody cried, I swear to God, I could breastfeed the back row from here. You think I'm kidding? And I know it's New York, so some of y'all might pay for that, but this, this is a family show. Oh my God. No, I really, by the way, I am black. I'm black, don't crack. That's why I look this good at this age. Um, no, I have to, I, I have to acknowledge that because, you know, people are like, yeah, that ass is black, but that voice, no, no. Not so much. Uh, I used to be able to describe myself in one word. I could tell you people I was a Huxtable, right? And people got it. Like a year ago, people were like, oh, yeah, sure. She comes from an affluent African-American family. Her parents are professionals. Now I say that and people think my dad roofied my Girl Scout troop. I know. It's awful. Awful. You know what else is awful? <laughs> Y'all, before I had kids, a good day for me was if my bra and panties matched. Now a good day is if when I laugh, sneeze, or cough too hard, I don't pee myself a little bit. Yeah. Uh -huh. Nobody told me. I'm kind of mad at my parent friends for, like, not warning me what was going to happen. Like, I did not know that pregnancy makes women crazy and men stupid. <laughs> Nobody told me that. I found out at my first ultrasound. Uh, that's when, you know, they give you the picture now of your, of your baby, right? You can take it home, put it on your refrigerator, freak out your neighbors, <laughs> right? Because it looks like you got a baby in a pickle jar. <laughs> And uh, so they actually, they give you this picture to take home. And I, I handed it to my husband. I'm like, you go in the lobby with your phone, send a text to my parents so they can see their first grand. I'll meet you. I come out, I'm dressed, I'm ready to go. He's got this big grin on his face. I'm like, did you do it? Did you send a picture to my parents? He goes, I did. And I put it on Facebook. I go, you did what? What were you thinking? Are you out of your mind? Or what the hell? He goes, why are you so upset, Kareth? I didn't tag you in it. <laughs> Is fetus would you be having on your Facebook page, you jackass? <laughs> so it really should be no surprise when I truly got the worst birthday present ever from him when I was pregnant. I, uh, I hear him on the phone and I hear him going, uh-huh, yeah, oh, she can't? Oh, yeah, she's like six months. So I realized like he was being a cheap bastard, he got me a Groupon, which was fine. At least he got me a present, right? But I'm thinking, you know, maybe he got me something cool like skydiving, like something I obviously cannot do pregnant. He hangs up, I'm like, what, what was it? Because he looks so disappointed. He goes, well, I got you a colonic. <laughs> I said, a what? He goes, a colonic? I go, no, I heard you. <laughs> what, what, why? What were you thinking? Like jewelry didn't cross your mind? And he looks me dead in the face. He goes, well, you said you were having trouble going. <laughs> and if you think about it, a colonic is really like a day spa for your ass. <laughs> Now, as true as that might be, <laughs> that is truly the most shitty present you could ever give someone. <laughs> Unbelievable. So I am, uh, I'm actually like getting ready to get back into you know, my fight and weight, get back into shape. And, uh, and the thing is like, I don't know if it's just, you know, cause I'm older and that I'm comfortable with who I am. I also know it depends on where I am, like how I should feel about myself. Like in New York city, like right now I'm pleasantly plump. Right? When I go out to Los Angeles, I'm a beached whale. But here's the deal, y'all. When I go to the Midwest, I'm anorexic. And it is awesome. Seriously, if you're ever having a fat day, you buy yourself a one-way ticket to Kansas City. Because you will feel like a supermodel like that. I went to visit some friends from college. I got off the plane. They were like, oh my God, Kareth, you're wasting away to nothing. <laughs> they actually had an intervention for me, y'all, a barbecue intervention. <laughs> it was great. 
It's so insane. Only in this society do we get excited, like, when we get sick, right? Because we're like, I could lose five to seven pounds. <laughs> and about three days doing absolutely nothing. I know I'm not the only person in here who's that. <laughs> If I get the flu on Tuesday, I'll be in my skinny jeans by Friday. <laughs> but we are so obsessed with weight in this country. We really are. Like, we, because we have fat people. We got fat people. We got fat little kids. Do you know we now have fat pets? <laughs> like, fat little kids, I get it. Those little bastards can sneak food. Okay? But fat pets, that's just wrong. Okay? That's on us. Right? And they have diet pet food. Now, the only reason I know this is I have a friend who has a cat that is 22 and a half pounds. Exactly. If that did not make your mouth drop open, let me put it to you this way. That's four bags of sugar with paws. <laughs> now, the only reason we not weigh this much is because he had to take it to the vet because it was limping, right? Now, I am not a rocket scientist, but I did suggest that maybe it was limping because it was being crushed under its own weight. Uh, turns out I was wrong. Somebody had actually shot it. I know, like really awful, horrible. I was, it was like devastating. My friend was upset. Of course he was, as any of us would be. He was like, how could somebody do that? How could somebody shoot my cat? I was like, sweetheart, at 22 and a half pounds, somebody probably thought it was a fucking wildebeest. <laughs> See, parenting is making more sensitive. Right? I, uh, I actually, I'm trying to be a good parent. I started reading books. I actually came across this book called Toddlers Are Assholes. <laughs> Two and a half years ago, I would have thought that was the most horrible woman on the face of the planet who wrote that. Now I'm like, this bitch knows what she's talking about. <laughs> Teach me, sensei. <laughs> Honest to God, I seriously, I think if the government implemented toddlers, we could handle so much stuff, right? You, seriously, we want to take care of terrorism? You send a pack of toddlers over there with no snack, no nap, and tell them ISIS has their juice boxes. <laughs> Obama's doing it all wrong, right? He wants to get stuff past Congress. All he has to do is get on the floor, rant, yell, say the same shit over and over again. Finally, somebody will call, like, give you know, a secret service or Michelle to come pick his ass up. All he has to do is put his arms up and do the noodle thing. Right? Oh, my God. I get it now. I understand why people drink before four. There is no shame in that. Anybody who has children. Anybody. It's, it, it is a, it's a lot like being single. Is anybody, like, you know, you remember being single, the parents, right? Do you ever remember? <laughs> this is so horrible. But I think sneaking away from a baby is kind of like sneaking away from that one night stand you sobered up with <laughs> in the middle of the night, right? You gotta pop the nipple out of their mouth and, like, get out as quietly as you can. <laughs> a really just me with a sorted past. Okay, people. Okay. You guys have been awesome. I'm Kareth Foster.